is Simon Hosford from Down Under, and you are watching Show Me Your Pick with Fruitcake Tony. Brendan B. Squared, Saturday night. What's up, fellas? Rainy day all hey, day here, and I think where you are too, Charles, but it was definitely a rainy day. But it was Not a all day, day, but damn close, brother. All day for me. So. Flooding. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> I wish it was snow, but it wasn't. I didn't see flake one all year, man. I'm two kind of two hours, no two flake. hours north of me, two hours north of me, where my sister, uh, sister-in-law lives, ten inches of snow. Like, Jeez, yeah, Ooh. I saw Sandra. She, uh, oh yeah, she had some. Yep. She posted something on her media. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a winter wonderland still, you know. Yeah, man. Kind of crazy, man. But, well, Charles, yeah, no. I, I'm I'm sorry you got rain all day down there mm-hmm. on a Saturday. It rained all night here, but it it dried out. Sun came out. It's been a nice day here, but there is a chance of storms now, and the wind is is kind of howling out there. Mm-hmm. So I hope mm-hmm. it doesn't get bad here. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, nice to see you dudes. Nice to see you, man. We are it already almost out of March here. We're we're at March twenty third. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. Almost into April. <clears throat> Easter's next week. Yeah. You know? Yes it is. Yes it is. Having everybody at our house, big giant ham. We're gonna have like thirteen people. Mm. Be a good time. Right on. Dude, that's awesome, man. When I was telling Tony in the green room, Charles, I don't know if you got there yet, but every other year at my church, we do a um, a play, and it's the Living Last Supper, so it's like a live-action version of the right when Jesus says someone will betray him. And uh, so... There's 12 of us on the stage, and we each have a little monologue. So it's kind of cool. So I've, I've been doing that question, since 19... Quick question, brother. Okay, so do you have a reoccurring character that you, like, have been honing for a few years? You say it's every other year. It, yeah. I want to know who plays Judas, baby, and is it you? That's what I want to know. I'm not, are you I am not, Jesus? No, I'm not Jews, Judas. I'm not Jesus. I play Simon. So if you know the if you know the uh, the picture... <clears throat> The famous Leonardo picture. You're looking straight on at Jesus. If you look to the right, I'm the guy all the way to the right. So I play Simon the Zealot, and I've been playing. I've been playing that him since two since 1996. Okay, that was my question. It. All right. Yeah. All right. So I play the same guy. There's only one other, two other people that have been doing it as long. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good time. 
you know that's awesome and so that's awesome. i can't can't wait for that we didn't do it during the pandemic because that was a it was you know we couldn't really so this is the first time in like probably five years we've done it so i'm, I'm kind of excited that's it, excellent. And it's, that is there, excellent. May, there will be a link on youtube it's not going to be streamed so if you guys do want to see it when it comes out i'll let you guys know but so it, so fun. so so you're the guy all the way on the right i'm the guy this. all the way on the right going like this you know, oh, like okay. some, one of you will be trained like huh and people would may know if they saw history of the world part one <laughs> with mel brooks <laughs> i've seen it that, that's a good one so but yeah it's it's fun i i enjoy it good time so cool dude right on well, all right um, oh since you put that up charles the other side of that what's the other side of that say i, I saw think... jimmy ray hawkins in the chat ah, and i hadn't yep. said hello to him yet but i just wanted to show this off I because i appreciate it like you wouldn't believe nice circles guitar i, right I think tony meant did you mention it already tony or backstage that mean streets playing out yeah main main street is playing live they are they may join us right tonight now. right they may join us later or they, they may they may hopefully 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 we'll see cool 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 yeah um Excellent. they are doing their thing on a stage in king north carolina nice Turner and mighty mean street north carolina's premier van Halen tribute band they are those guys rock you you guys saw them live didn't you they killer yeah. absolutely kick-ass band that was awesome yep that was good so hopefully they'll hop in here and we can catch a few <laughs> moments and a couple songs of main street we'll see that'd be cool yeah but welcome everybody it is saturday night this is episode number 192 we are talking brian adams here tonight the yes. great brian adams yeah um a lot to talk about with brian adams you cannot dispute those songs so many hits yeah speaking so of hits. Speaking of hit songs, um, there is, I put up a poll in the community up there. If you go all the way up there and hit community uh -huh. and you'll see there's a poll, your favorite Brian Adams song, vote there and cast your vote and we'll see where we stand a little later on, B, um, in that poll. Let's see. I don't see it i see the i don't see a poll hang on dude all i see is a comment unless i'm seeing something wrong i don't see a poll uh what songs your favorite leaving the comments if not listed i could be wrong are you sure but i i don't i don't see a poll i just see a I'm on the community page, right? Okay, well, click on it again or refresh or something. Okay, let me refresh. No. All it says for me <clears throat> in the community page is... Oh, there it is. What the hell? Why did it take so long? You fix it? It does that to me, too. It does that to me, too, Brent. It does. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, well, well I just made my vote. And my okay, my my songs in the lead. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys, what are those songs there, but, uh, up there listed? Be so. Run to you, cuts like a knife. Summer of '69, somebody, and heaven. And my my vote is to run to you. That's my favorite song, of his. There's so many. It's hard to choose. Yeah, so many. Yeah, and if your yeah. favorite's not amongst those five leave a comment yeah yep yeah those wrote, those hits wrote, are abundant and, and he and, wrote for a lot of people you know that i that you that we all i don't know if some of us know but he wrote he wrote for a lot of people a lot of a lot of artists has have uh played his song he's saying backup on a lot of stuff too 
like some Motley mm-hmm. Crue stuff he sang back up, some Ozzy stuff, you know? He's yeah, a he, he's had a very vast versatile dude. career. He's Excellent sold career. between, what is it, 70 to 100 million, million albums worldwide? Yeah, yeah that's insane. That's man. a lot of vinyl, baby. That's a <laughs> lot, man. He's in Europe it's now. Huge. He's it's huge. He's, He's on a really long European tour. I think till like the fall. I mean, he might I think he's going to Canada. He'll come back to Canada a couple times, but then he's gonna be in Europe, like Belize, Spain, Netherlands, everywhere. So Yeah, my uh, my favorite song is It's Only Love. I don't think it's on the uh actual That's a good and thing. it's a duet. I think Monique yeah. even mentions it. Hey Monique, in the chat. Um that's my favorite song in concert. Good tune. It was absolutely badass. Right. I on. didn't see it every time, but at the towards the end of the last time I saw him, it was it was yeah. a regular staple by that time. Well, he yeah. Did a du- he did a duet with uh, Taylor Swift, uh, Summer '69. They did that together a couple years ago. Yeah. Really. You know. Very cool. Very awesome. cool. Yeah. He's yeah. he's uh, he's pretty underrated. You know, a lot of people. I think he's underrated. He should be, you know, out there on people's brains. And I think he is when, you know, you start listening to his songs and you think about it and you're like, Oh yeah, that's him. Oh yeah, that's him. Oh yeah. You know, (laughs) he's good, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't think he gets talked about enough. Yeah. Uh, No, he, he does. You know, maybe that's the way he wants it though. You know, cause he's had a, how long has his career been? You know, he's 40 plus years at least. Since the, yeah, you got it. Since, since, since he hit the scene with, um cuts like a knife yeah you know making a video yep. in the bottom of a waterless yep. um swimming pool charles yeah. green <laughs> yep. yeah all I right tell you about that video either let me tell you what uh, nah. but it's a so, really good video before yeah. we we get too far into brian adams let me um let me say we're going to do some 10 shot rock and roll trivia a little later on. We're giving away tonight. We're giving away what you want. One of these Kurt Hammett 72 seasons guitar picks for your collection. You don't see these. You don't find these. These are from the tour. His guy was... Yeah. You know a guy? We know a guy. Yes. That's a lot of picks. That's a lot of picks. That'll be a little later on, about the one hour mark or so. Yeah. Um, Yeah. We'll show you a bunch of Brian Adams guitar picks later from the collection. Um, and some very, very, very cool vintage new stuff here tonight. You'll see more vintage cool stuff next nice. to arriving, but some really cool stuff tonight here for you. Very cool. Very cool. Have cool. coolness on the desk to show you. Yeah, man. That'll be later as well. We are talking... Brian Adams, it's Saturday night. Show me your pick. Um, let's open up the chat, dude. Crack open that chat. There's a let's lot of people. Absolutely. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Very cool. Do it. Do it. Do it. 25 billion people watching right now. Get out of here. There's a lot of people. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh-huh. All right. Are you starting at the top or the bottom? I'm starting all the way at the top, man. I'm, there I'm go. nice. There is no wrong right answer Mount there, Mount I guess. Mount Everest, yeah. all the way here. Patty Deal in the chat. What's up, Patty? Good to Good see, see you, man. Patty. Right on, Patty. Hi, Patty. Always a pleasure. All Dave, all night. What's up, Davey man? Rock? It's good to see you, Dave. Right on, There's man. Bent Tom in the house. What's up, Tommy? Tommy. Good Tommy. To see you, dude. 
Christopher live, Sober. What's up, Sober? Hey on, Christopher. Hey, dude. Right on. Right on, brother. It's good to see you, man. All right, let me see where I'm at here. Do, 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 do. All right. I see Al's G here. What's up, Al? Right on, Al. It's good to see You're you, right, brother. It's good to see you, man. Gretch Zeppelin in the house. What's up, Gretch? Gretch. Right on, bro. All right. Love the, love the thumbnail. Rat Fink rules. Excellent. Dwight Bailey in the house. What's You're happening? In the house. Dwight. Oh, Dwight. The hit man. What's it's up? It's D Rock, Dwight. Right on, man. Very cool. All righty. Let's see. Jimmy Ray Hawkins. What's up, dude? Jimmy Ray hey, Rocks. Jimmy Ray. Jimmy Ray Rocks. Good right on, Jimmy. You, man. Yes, sir. You rock, Jimmy. Right. right on, brother. Okay. Let me stairs, Monique. What's up, Monique? Good to see you, ma'am. Right on. Good to see you, Monique. Hi, you Ray. rock. Right on. All right. Gret Zeppelin. Have we said him yet? Yeah, but he's so yeah. good you say him twice. We'll All right. Twice. Right on. You rock, Gretch. All right. Still scrolling. Yep. OU812 Ryan in the house. What's Ryan, up? Dude? Ryan, you rock, bro. What's hey, up, Ryan? Ryan, I'm just trying to follow your sexy lead, bro. That's all it is. You're the trendsetter, buddy. You're the trendsetter, bro. Hey, now. Right there. Yeah. Yep. I can hear the tones echoing already. I can. All right. Bad ass. That's it. I Bad can ass. hear the tones echoing through the room. All right. If you are just joining, please say hello in the chat. It is Saturday yeah. night. There's Randy Price. What's up, Randy? Good right to see on, you, Randy. dude. Good Bye to day. see you, man. Nice. Right on. Jeff K in there somewhere. Jeff, good to see you, Jeff. You rolled in there, John Moronic. Right on, Jeff. John Moronic, good to see good you, bro. You, man. See you in a minute. Yeah. Hey, Double John. Man. Good to see you too, bro. Right on, man. Jeff Just, K was our big yeah. winner, Charles, um, on Tuesday, our last oh, nice. outing talking Van Halen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, check that was a good show. Dude. That was a good show, man. Got uh, symmetries in there. What's up, Trev? Trev, what's up, yeah. dude? Right on, Trev. Good All to right. see you, man. Scroll, right on, brother. Scroll to the bottom because they're coming in, man. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm going down. It's a lot of comments, but I don't want to miss is. anyone. You won't. We'll get them all. There's Ian in the house. What's up, Ian's guitar shot? Right on, Ian. You rock, Ian. It's good to see you, man. All right. There's Symmetry. What's up, Trev? Right on, Trev. Right Wallet on. Cries. What's Wallet up, bro? Cries. Wallet Cries, bro. Right on, man. There's John Moronic. Good to see you, yep. John. Right on, John. It's good to see you, brother. Herbert. Herbert Moi. Mew. 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 Herbert, welcome. Right on, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Mick in the house. What's up, bro? Mr. Mick. Right on, Mick. You rock. Very cool. All right. Yep. Let me see here. All right. I'm all the way to the bottom, I think. If you are just joining, say hello in the chat. It is Saturday night. Mm -hmm. This is Show Me Your Pick. We're yep. talking Brian Adams. Hey, uh, Herbert, is the pronunciation of your last name, is it Mew? If that's anywhere close to correct, just give me a thumbs up, please. I don't want to keep mispronouncing your that's name. That's what I would, that's yeah. how it looks to me, and that's what I yeah. would say. Hey, Santiago, good to see you, dude. AJ, hey, we screw up people's names all the time, so. We yeah, do. but we don't want to. We don't want no, to. No, we don't. Of course we don't. Right on, Jay. It's good to see you, brother. He, he said yes, Charles, so it's Mew. Good enough. Good enough. Right on, brother. Right. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Very Welcome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I hate mispronouncing people's names. That's one of my pet peeves, you know? 
I know you probably know. do too, Charles. And because you know, then you want to be like, "Hey, what's up? It's Charles." I <laughs> just want to. <laughs> I just want to say that I had Ed Dubril's pronunciation correct from almost the get go. Oh, did. you did. You did. You did. I did not. Though. No, I, that's. It, <laughs> I, I was like a year going Ed do Ed Ed Dubril. Well, I think the one we messed up most the mostly was was Sova. You know, be, it threw everybody off. You know, we would say yeah. sour for so long, you know? Exactly, exactly. But I yeah. just say CLS. Very cool. Very right. cool. We all know. We all know now. We do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But it is yeah. Cool. Right on. Right on, man. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. Hope your week's gone great. Hope springtime weather is, is moved into where you are, wiggled at least. You know, yeah. Um, we've been getting our fair share, and yeah, that means being outside more, longer days, fairways and greens, hitting them straight. Not. Yep. Yep. You know. I have not been on the golf course in a long time. See, uh, that's just unacceptable. Yeah, I know. Well, I know. All, all the while, too, Charles, longer days means, in some, some cases, longer work days. More. <laughs> in some cases, dude, that's a, just mark that shit down. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no such thing as the 9 to 5, 40-hour week anymore. At least not for me. Not in not my world. Charles. Not, not in my totally. world. Not for anybody anymore, really. No. You know? You're right. You're absolutely right, but but I I heard and I really hope it's true. You know that they floated the idea in Congress. I think to the thirty-two hour work week that would be insane. You know, yeah, that I, uh, would be great for the four-day work week. You know, it doesn't affect me in one for a day. Not at all. Doesn't even affect think, me. I don't know who it's going to affect because it's you know where I work. It's 24 7 365 they don't shut down so i don't know how they would do that <laughs> you know same with you and probably tony same with you i don't think you'd be able to do that you know unless they yeah, hired well, more people no, but, with, you know. with me the more i do the more i make right that's, that's right and production is everything you can look at production from a lot of different angles yeah. in your work so tony's production is a little different than mine but in the end it's all about time Right. It really yeah, well, is. Well, and these, making these use days, of your time. You, you, know? you take advantage of your time. And, and in right. a lot of cases, like we're talking about, goes from unfortunately freaking sun up till it gets dark. See that? I like Gretch's, if that's true, but that's for hourly folks. You know, like people that own their own business or yeah. people that are on salary. No. It doesn't affect everybody that way. Unfortunately, a large percentage of people. It's a big it percentage. Be, it would be great, but you know, yeah. yeah, you know, I think we all, I think we all work too hard, and I'm gonna say, you know, it. we are the most workingest thing in the. It's just ridiculous. Human beings, all we do yeah. is work. We work, there, work, 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 and there, uh, some of us get further ahead than others some of us it seems like we're working and going in you know the wrong direction sometimes life sucks sometimes but and in general humans we just work our asses off we do i mean yeah. I, we do it's just i want to retire so yeah. Damn it. <laughs> i hear you bud Someday, i, got, I still, got, I I still so. got a ways to go but it might yeah. happen you never know you it never know it may happen eventually i mean i think i'd probably have to do something you know, I mean, my dream would be to nice cabin on a lake up in the Adirondacks with a ginormous wood shop, you know, and uh, I'd just make guitars and, and shit for forever <laughs> for the rest That's, of my life. You know? God, that sounds like a really nice dream there, brother. Uh, it'll so happen. father moment in real yeah. time, my son, Daniel, um, just sent me a photograph uh -huh. of a new motorcycle that he just bought. 
It's a really nice bike. It's going to use it to commute to work. Oh, nice. And the father in me does not like it a single bit. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I had bikes. I had lots of bikes. I've flown down the road and I should have taken off. Um, I've got lots of bad bike stories, so I'm just having a moment here. But it's all good. I'm going to call him later. I love him. Everybody everybody has bad bike stories, but, you know, it's... What are you going to do? Children. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway. Yeah, you never you never stop worrying about him. Never. No. Nope. You never will. So Absolutely you not. And don't get me wrong, he can ride. He's very talented. I just don't like, I don't like Oh, sure, man. Anyway, anyway, I didn't mean to bring anything down, guys. It's just in real time. You know how it is. I well, bear my some... soul to you guys from time to time. What's here's up, something to, jams? Here's something to, to bring you it back Bonner. up. There you go, Charles. That'll bring right. it back up. Here's right on. Public baby. nudity. <laughs> right on. We'll throw you a link, Boner Jams, if you're gonna if there's gonna be any public nudity. Oh yeah. You know? Absolutely. Uh, doesn't have to be nudity. Just take your socks off. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I oh boy. <laughs> there's a whole community for that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh boy. Got some feet. Feet cakes. Feet cake Tony. <laughs> We're changing oh, your name, buddy. How oh, good. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jesus. Hey. Oh, boy. All right. All Dave, all night in the house. What's happening? What's Dave up, rocks, man. Absolutely rocks. Good to see you, bro. I, I didn't... Back to back to uh, Brian Adams. I didn't realize how popular he was, like, overseas and in India. He's huge. He's like a household name. You know how, like, you know how, like Hassel, Hasselhoff is, like, famous in Germany? Uh, Brian Adams is that same way in India. Mm. You know, it's, it's crazy. Wow. Wow. You know, like the first, um, some of the first English words that kids learn over there is it was the summer of 69. (laughs) You know, I've heard these stories. It's insane. It's insanity. But he's always been very honest about what the song is about. Yeah. It's not about the summer. So we'll no, just, you know, had nothing to do as with much it. as as much as they think it is. And Adam as Roach, they, what's up, dude? What's up, Adam? As much Adam, as they want to make it that on, way. Bro. Good afternoon, bro. It is. It is not about that. So that's okay. That is okay. But yeah, it's. I love when I hear when you hear that stuff. You know, it's. You know, bands are popular other other places. He's. I mean, he's a Canadian mm-hmm. guy, so. Lawnmower tapes. What's up, dude? Very Good to see you, Lawnmower. Right there, brother. Hey, Lawnmower tapes. What's up, dude? You know, um, 82, when we did the show on, like, we did a show, uh, we were talking about Loverboy. I think it was when I went and saw Loverboy with the kids and everything this last year. Yeah, it was recent, right? Yeah. But I, during the show, I was telling oh, a story yeah. about Loverboy Good show at the dude. forum. And Brian Adams had opened for Loverboy. That was 1982. Yeah. I worked the show. It was just one night. It was one night. Then in 83, uh, I was working a lot of West Security in 83. And Brian Adams, uh, who was he touring with? Journey, 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 Journey. Um, He did like five shows with Journey because Journey did five shows at the Forum. And so I worked, I think it was three of those shows. That was really, really cool. Right. He was in his absolute pinnacle of his heyday as far as people loving him. He still wasn't headlining major venues, though. And ironically, I don't remember him other than one more year, and it was like 85 where he came into LA all three of this time, all three of the shows that I saw him at, and it was multiple shows. I guess the total number would have been five. Yeah. Cool. We're all at the forum in Los Angeles, but the only headline the last year, it was one show and he only played a few spots in LA, one down South, one show there. So he, they went from being a major opening act to, I mean, he wasn't that big yeah. as compared to the other people he was opening for at the time. And um, when was this, Charles? 85. 
I I saw Brian Adams in '85 at, at as a headliner to a sold out Greensboro Coliseum. It was a sold out show, but it was only one show, and it was at the Forum in Los Angeles in '85. It was only one show, so they had come off. So so was he a super? Were they a super? You know, were they a huge, 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 huge band? Nah, Journey sold five shows just two years before. Um, and he was and headlining you know, I think in '85 though. Yeah, Brian Adams so, headlined in '85 and had a yeah. huge tour. He played uh, three shows, I think, maybe three shows only. But over in Europe in '85, it was massive concerts compared to here. But I'm talking about how it was in LA at that time. Right. So well, he um, he toured here. In the South and in 85 when he mm -hmm. had all, all those hits. And that's when I went and saw him. And I only went and saw him once, but he mopped up. He sold out everywhere he played around yeah. here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they said the forum was sold out. It was a sold out show, but it was just one show. One show. And uh, after that, I remember he was playing fairs. Like by 87, 88, 89, uh, still playing in Europe. But as far as in California and the rest of the 80s, not really. Not really. Played like one fair. Interesting enough, I remember him going on American Bandstand in like 83 at the height of his popularity. Mm -hmm. And then I remember, because that was like a television, that was daytime television, American Bandstand. <laughs> and then in like 85, there was like a MTV Music Awards. And they were on that. Mm -hmm. So that, and that was like it. After that, I don't, other than loving the music and the songs and him having a lot of other successes, you know, as far as being a huge major act and everything, he, uh, as far as in California and the West Coast, I didn't see it. And, and interestingly enough, first time I saw him, uh, two, two guitar players, keyboard player, bass player, there was a backup singer in the back and a drummer. The second time I saw him, there was a backup singer, basically the same thing, but he was playing the only guitar. Okay, so it was just him playing guitar. Yep. And the third time I saw him, he was playing bass, and they were a four-piece band at that point. Yeah, yeah. And they were great in all genres of that, what I just explained. Every single one of those shows, you could hear a little bit of difference in the music. First time they came in around 82, it was, uh, I liken it sort of like... Um, much bigger sound because there were more instruments, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, I actually enjoyed the version around 85 better with him playing bass and singing. I thought it was, I thought it was great. And he's, he's a very accomplished musician. He plays guitar very well. Yeah. But he plays bass really well too. So nice. it was cool. It was nice to see him do that. Um, you, you, you you saw him play bass. Okay. And yeah. 85 though. I believe I mean, so. 85, end of 85, maybe. 85, 86, had, I don't that think. was his biggest tour yeah. ever. And he yeah. blanketed the States with <sighs> Keith Scott and that great original band that he had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. They, yeah, I didn't they, see they, it. They I didn't see it up. after 83. Mm -hmm. After 83, I didn't see it. But the band in 83 see, and 82, uh, when he was opening, um, he was a major opening act. Almost like he was sharing a bill, almost, with his fans. Yeah. Had a huge fan base. Oh, big time. But 85 was interesting. It was interesting. He was, uh, he was, he sold out only one show. And he only played two or three shows in California in that year, I believe. I don't think he played any other shows unless it was maybe a small club or venue during that time. That's crazy. He, um, yeah, I remember it real he, well. I look back on the concert ar archives, and he, he was mopping up in the South 
mm-hmm. in 85. On Was he really? Court. Wow. Wow. He, he had a fabulous year, Charles. I mean, I'm, I'm, um, yeah, he. I I went and saw him in September mm-hmm. of that year, but that was the on, only time I could have gone. I wish I'd have gone more a couple years later, mm-hmm. but I never did. But I did see him during that eighty, and that that was fabulous. And he in fact, it. if he if my memory served me right, he sold out everywhere. Like eighty six or eighty seven, I think he played. He played a smaller venue. And I mean a smaller venue, not a ballroom, but like a like a ballroom. Yeah, it was like a ballroom. Um, not in LA. It was outside of LA, if I remember correctly. And uh I couldn't, I don't remember the name. Um, it seems to me that he played a small venue there as well. Uh and I found it kind of weird because he was incredibly popular. His songs are timeless, and I, it's not like he was trying for work. I mean, they came in, they sold the place out, they left and they went somewhere else. And I think it's important to also say the whole time I'm talking about this, he was doing a world tour and um, it was an incredibly successful tour in 85. I'm just surprised he didn't do more shows in California because two years before he literally played like six shows, five shows. Yeah. It's, in LA, shows. that's in LA. I'm talking about. Yeah, but it, yeah, in the '80s was probably his biggest, his peak. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, because he's yeah. still playing now. Like I said, he's still, he's got a huge tour going over in Europe. But I'd go see him. I'd go I'd see, him, see yeah. him. I'd definitely see him. You know. Um. He was and yeah, of- ballroom. You said brilliant. Ballroom John is good. Shane. I'd love to see him in a ballroom. That would be awesome. John. Yeah. Right on, John. Good to see you, brother. I, I'd like to see him in any venue except the stadium tour. I'm not a stadium tour guy. I've said this before. I don't think I'll be going to a stadium show. The closest the closest I've been to a stadium show is going to be Madison Square Garden. It's not even a stadium. But, you know. I don't know. I don't know. My last stadium show was really good. Well, it was really yeah. good. It was good. I remember, I remember you talking about it. And and they're probably great, but I don't know. It's just it doesn't doesn't appeal to me. But it's okay. It's okay. You know. He was um Brian Adams was one of those artists that lost all their stuff in two thousand eight in that universal fire, you know, the um I know that, that sucks. That sucked. Cause you had oh. to remake remake a whole bunch of stuff. A bunch of people did oh, that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Not just him. No, a lot of people. But that's way you know. cool. That's way cool. Well, he, I, yeah. I, I, Jimmy Ray was pointing out also he's a professional photographer, I believe. Yeah. Professional photographer. Yeah. Uh, he did a lot. I of, didn't like, know that. Uh, I didn't know that. He did a lot of the. Um, like cinematography stuff for his videos, you know, because you, you can, they're really well shot, you know. Um, he did a lot of that stuff too. These, these, um, these, I think it's important to, um, to talk about these songs that he, he wrote, especially on, on, on that one record when he was in his heyday, Charles. It, those, those, the summer of 69 and they were all on the radio every single minute and those songs are they're not as ingrained in our youth as let's say those those old journey songs but it it kind of kind of comes close a little bit yeah you know um but they yeah it, he had major major chart success and 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 my, you know, here in the summer of 69, yeah. for me, unfortunately, has a skip, you know, because when I recorded it from somebody's whatever onto my whatever, there was a skip uh-huh. at a certain, in the second verse, Yeah, coming out, I, I forget where, but 
So I always remember every time I hear that song, I hear the skip. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that, even when it's not there, just you just hear it. You used there, to it. Hear it yeah. I'm so used to it, right? No, but that, that <laughs> I mean, the, uh, from that summer of '69 is from that album "Reckless" in '84, which is my favorite Brian Adams album. I mean, it's got it's got "Run to You," my favorite song. It's got "Somebody." It's got "Summer of '69." It's got "One Night Love Affair." It's got "It's Only Love." You know that he duetted with Tina Turner. It's got that. That was probably his. I'm gonna say his most famous, his most. I think it was his number one, and it was this yeah. number one in the United States. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. He had a lot of I'm top sure ten that. hits in there. A lot of top tens. Yeah. yeah. It, it it seemed like Charles that the time for that style of music. And the heyday, you talk about people's heyday. Um, Brian Adams, those years, those paralleled to REO Speedwagon a whole lot, do you think? Mm. And uh, Billy Squire. Yeah. It's a good comparison. Absolutely. Yeah. One, once those. Who's cool as shit? <laughs> Billy Squire was yeah, cool. Yeah, great, great songs, yeah, but it cool, seemed, seemed like that once the, that those years passed and newer music arrived, those, yeah, they all went out of vogue at the same time. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean would you consider, would you consider Brian Adams as like a singer-songwriter? Not yeah. like the old school singer, but like a newer I, I would. I mean, just yeah, yeah. You know, great songs, great, great, great songs. You know, um, but but he had his his heyday. He's still out there, but he's, you know, everyone has their heyday, and he surely had right. his. And it it yeah. was in those mid eighties years, right. And, and it's funny too because he did it wasn't his first guitar but he did buy a six string at a five and dime in 1971 and i think it was like a i think it was a a fender knockoff you know a strap right. knockoff but so you know a lot of his life is in his songs he did he did buy it. i know great songs yeah. though though those songs are with us dude standing on your mama's porch right i mean come on dude that's a, again i'll say it again i've said it many times before music is a time machine you know it will bring you back to where you were at that time you heard the song and the music you know no matter what it will bring you there that's why i love that's what i love about music yeah, yeah. Uh, there were so many. Um, there were so many artists who sort of uh, just came forward at that time. You know, so you guys remember Creedence Clearwater, John Fogarty, oh. um, basically folk rock uh, that really rocked hard, right? Um, I. It's interesting when I listen to guys like Brian Adams. Um, I, I think they're of sort of a, a, a different um, era of a John Fogarty. That's the kind yeah. of thing I get with him, you know. It's like a newer version of John Fogarty. I, I yeah. Get it. yeah, John yeah. Fogarty's still play he's actually playing near me soon. He's going to be playing. Uh, I think I had Woods. heard something that he was. Yeah, he's still touring. touring. He's touring again when like the new season at Bethel Woods, which is like the original site of Woodstock. That's about an hour south of me, south southwest. So I've been there a few times to see some cool shows. They always have good shows. A buddy of mine works there. God, too. I can't tell you what I give to see Fortunate Son. I would love to see that song, him play that song again. Oh, let's see. Let's see when it's coming up, Charles. See if you can make a trip. Dude, man, oh man. <laughs> I know a guy. I know. I know a guy that d did your old job. It, uh, he, he does security there. And uh, he once offered. Well, I, you offered to let me and Tony stay on your couch, and I believe oh, yeah, it was dude. eat all the food in your refrigerator. I, for some reason, remember that last part. I have um, a. I have yeah, a big I, I futon, but you guys, all your food. You, you guys have to share the futon now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely take pictures of that and 
put them on the internet. But anyway. I really would love to see John Fogarty. Let me tell you that. No problem. Really here. Good. I'm but. built for comfort, not for speed. <laughs> I don't need much room. Just make sure I have a cup of coffee in the morning, and I'm good. Oh, uh, you're good. I got a, I got a good coffee maker. Nice, good. nice. Good. Um, but yeah. So, and you know, I'm I'm going off on a tangent, but talking about security and my friend, he he used to work security at the Chance. The Chance will be coming back. There's been some uh, activity on. Uh, on social media because you know we were all worried i was worried um that's my favorite venue you know kind of like the machine shop like the show you're like the shirt you have on charles uh-huh. in, in michigan flint the michigan's chance, finest baby yeah, that's how the they chance, roll right the there. chance is the chance is my machine shop and a lot of people know of it but they were people were worried it wasn't going to come back because they closed it last october um because the unfortunately the owner had passed and then the person that owned it after that also passed wow so um but it was sold and they're revamping it and it's going to come back and there's going to be shows and i'm i'm so excited but, nice. that's excellent excellent yeah. anyway rock and roll at the chance uh, i can dude again. there'll be more shows that i've 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 streamed a couple shows you know the ace show the docking Jeez, show. Man. God, that was cool. That's your lucky spot, brother. Some Steel Panther. The Fillmore is my chance. Yeah. The Ritz is Tony's chance. Yeah. You got the Ritz, Tony, that's the one near you, closest to you. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That's what we saw. Dirty hunting. Oh, nice. Everybody's yeah, got, the, um, got their we, favorite. We've gone live with you, Brandon, from the chance. Yeah, a couple, couple times. A few times. More than a couple of times, like uh like I said, Ace, when I caught the pick, got uh, Dockin, or yeah, Don Dockin when so more George Lynch it. came in. Did I did I stream Steel Panther from there at all? I think I yeah. might. Have. Oh, I did. Yeah. You, I think you got yeah. copy, copyrighted or yeah, yeah, I got yeah, copyrighted on a couple. Drama. There's a co- there's some colorful language at a uh, Steel Panther show. So <laughs> yeah, but, nah, that was fun, bro. That was fun. I, I'll see. That, I'd see Panther. them again. So we'll see. You know, there's. I'm looking forward to. Going back because Edwin Crane in the house. What's up? What's up? Good to see you, Edwin. You rock, brother. Right on, brother. Now that's something to be in my head. Hey, right on, Ryan. It's good to see you guys, man. There's rock. What is it? All right. Um, well, dude, I hope that, um, I hope they open up soon. And oh, yeah, yeah. They're gonna. I enjoy doing the live stuff. Going, we'll go live with um, with Sova or Dave Z from the Chance. That's always fun. Seeing seeing, seeing some great bands oh, live machine, on Saturday shop? night at yeah, Blue. The, that the way. Shop. They mm-hmm. have some great. Yes, sir. Great Absolutely. shows. Dig it. Yes, sir. Right now, the the closest thing is the Civic Center near me, but they don't <coughs> they don't they don't have a lot of big bands coming. They have more more conferences and stuff. So if I want to see a, a you know a bigger name band, I have to go to either Albany or Hartford near Boner Jams. You know, so. and I've done that before. Oh ho! You know what? Hey, um, we know you what guys. Is. I, I was telling the guys earlier, I got to leave a little early tonight. I got to get up ultra early so I can get off, hopefully in time to maybe play some guitar tomorrow afternoon. I'm trying to work Hell out. Hell yeah. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to bow out now. I love you guys. You guys All rock. Right. I'll see you guys very soon. I love you. All right, Charles. See you later. Charles Be well great. tomorrow. We'll see you. See you, Charles. Yeah, take care. Be well. See you. All right. All right. So that's the signal. That's the signal. I know that. Oh, speaking now, of speaking before we start, Tony. Speaking of Bardavon, that's where I was today, and you'll never guess what I saw there. <laughs> Tony knows because I told him, but um, I saw an opera. 
I saw Romeo and Juliet. Um, they they were actually streaming it from the Met in New York City, but they had it on a big screen, and that was my first one, my first opera. That was actually pretty good. I, I kind of, uh, I'll have to say, I enjoyed it. So, but yes, I saw an opera, and I know I don't think anybody would think that I would be going to an opera, but did you? Get I did. The, did did you? But seeing Romeo and Juliet, did you get the the heartfelt? Did it? Oh, it did. It was very emotional at the end. Yep. And it was uh, it was very well done. The the two leads were just insane. I'm just noticing this. It does look if if um with just us, us two at this camera view, it does look like we're, we're in the, the same, same room. room. I know it does. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> That's funny, man. It does look like that, doesn't it? I know. It looks Your like side's... the book's there, or you can reach out and just. <laughs> Your side's cleaner, though, for some reason. <laughs> Mine's a little messy. I think I have to clean up. <laughs> no, I so. think mine is. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Any Anyway, we got some. Uh, we got some trivia. All right, so so that that music, that's the sound of that's the signal for ten shot rock and roll trivia. We're gonna score you out tonight a yellow Kurt Hammett M seventy two tour pick. Yep. If you ain't got one of those yet, you're going to get one tonight. We got 10 questions about music and rock and roll trivia. We're going to share with you. Um, Yo. Yes, we Oh, we see. Do. You say trivia and look who shows up. R2. It's R2. You just R2. saw the bat signal. That's right. You just yeah. heard it. That's right. He's got the alert. He did. All right. What's going on, R2. All right. Wonder what kind of sandwiches they're making right now, B. I can uh, only imagine. I don't know, man. Just imagine uh, ham and turkey and lettuce and tomato and mustard and mayonnaise and let and mm. uh, a little vinegar and oil too, right? On toast. I, I had a nice steak sandwich for lunch. On toast. It was really good. Nice. I love a good sandwich. Good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Me too. All right. So, kids, hurry back. Here we go. We're going to wander into 10 shot rock and roll trivia. There's 10 questions here, 10 of them. And um, <laughs> yeah, if you are the winner tonight, there's a trivia winner's email down below. Email me your name and address, and I'll mail you out that cool Kurt Hammett pick. And among other stuff that you don't have, should you not have them yet, there's guitar picks from Brendan and Charles and Ed and show me your pick picks, and we'll make sure you get the cool hookup on the guitar pick prize pack. Good luck. There's 10 cool questions but know that there is a, is a delay here of what we're doing and where you end up seeing it four seconds later. Enough to exhale. That's right. And But it mixes up the chat. So, you know, may look uh, like you're the first answer in when really you're not the first right. answer in. You have to be super quick. You should be hitting refresh up there right now. Should be. Um, yeah. All right. So, so before, you, before you start, Tony, can you just say, I did it all for the nookie. <laughs> did, did you know you were, did you know you were wearing a, you got the Fred Durst hat looking up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. It's just one of those days. Don't uh, pull a gun on me. Break all stuff. Right. One of the best song, angry songs there is. Anyway, 
Yeah, let's get let's get started. You do. You got that. You got the white T-shirt. You got the hat. He he called me Fred Durst. I did. Can't believe it. I, I did. I forgive you. Thank you. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't figure you for a new metal guy. And you and you metal, but you know, I know you like all kinds of music. I do. But very much. But yeah, I, I like some Limp Biscuit stuff. A couple songs. I like anyway. all kinds of music. Let's 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 get to them questions. All right, number one. Good luck, Brendan is the judge. The first mm -hmm. correct answer that we see is the winner for each question. Whoever has the most correct the after ten is the winner. Yep. And all right, so good luck. We're going there. Number one. The first correct, get ready to type. Number one, described by Classic Rock Magazine as a virtuoso, this pickless guitarist has won four Grammys and is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I thought I said pickles. Pickless guitarist. That pickles guitarist. <laughs> not pickles, it's pickless. <laughs> pickless, not pickles. I know. You had to look. Because you thought you typed pickles, didn't you? Not until you said it. Only if you cover that first, if you cover that last S, it says pickles. And uh, all Dave, all, uh, no, wait, John DeShane got it. Sorry, I was talking. And John DeShane's already in there. Where is he at? He is, uh, keep going. <sighs> there, nope, keep going. Nope, 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 nope. Well, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't seen it. I, uh, I see John that. DeShane, I see I see John DeShane having it. Hang on. All right. Okay. Not hit. It was above that. Where is it? Where Let's is find it? it? There it is. I got there it. There it is. There Mark it is. Knopfler. Yep. Jeez. All man. right. It started there. We just weren't paying attention. No. That's what it was. JD's got it, Mr. John. We DeShane. got it. We got it. Everybody, yeah. it's good. It's, and that was a tough one, you know. At least we thought it was going to be a tough one, right? I thought so. John Deshane uh, is on the board with yes, one. Yes, he is. I own John. Yep. All right. Yep. Sorry, guys. All right. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he did it. Boom. All right. Number two. I, I thought that would be really hard, though. Maybe that's why we weren't Richie paying so Cotton much attention. And, yeah. I know. That's probably why we didn't think anybody was going to get it. So we were just talking like idiots. I but know. Anyway. All right. Number two. Let's go. So it's we're going to complete the next line to a song that I think you might all know, but you have to get the complete the next line words in order correctly like that all the words do need all the words to complete the next line here we go well another day another dollar after i've sang and hollered oh it's my way of living and i uh all right. Come on. Type it in Read the Google. all those words. I know you're doing it. Please provide them. We we know that, JD. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, Mr. Mick. And Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick. Yep. And I can't change a thing. That's right. Yes. That's a Blackfoot song. Yep. Nice job. That's sir. Highway song. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mick. Yep. All right. I want some Chinese food, R2. 
Okay. We got a game. Mr. Mick and John DeShane are on the board. Number three, El Tres. Underlay. All right. All right. We know what number three is. It's always ID the band. All righty. Okay, so we are going to ID this band. First correct answer that we see. Get ready, get set, and go. Oh. Who are those fuckers? Gizmachi. Oh, no, it's not Gizmachi. Slipknot without their masks. No. It's Boner and the Jams. No, it's not them. It's uh, Ryan got it. He kind of he kind of spelled it wrong. But... Adler's appetite. That's right. I think we give it to Ryan. Yep. Jay Santiago right behind him. Mister Mick right behind him. But yes, Ryan O U eight one two. All right. Is... On yes. the board, Ryan is on the board. So far, we got a, so far we got a three-way tie. Robbie Crane is in there, the great guitar player on the yep. right there. See him? Yep, I see him. X Rat took Robin's place. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for a beard trim, man. Getting a little thick. I did. did I did already I just, today. I just shaved this morning. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> All right. We got a three-way tie going into question four. Ryan, are you 812? Uh, yep. Mr. Mick and John DeShane are happening. Yep. Number four. All right, kids. Let's go. This is it. This band had chart success with their first two singles, Goodbye to You and Love's Got a Line on You. Name the band. As Tony would say, Finger Roll. Finger Roll. Man, good thing you were lazy running yep. up the court. Ryan again. You got the ball. Ryan, oh, you wait one, two again. He is correct with Scandal. Patty Smith. Smites, Smith Smites, whatever. Yeah. Goodbye to you. Mr. Mick right behind him, Jay. Goodbye to you. Scabdol. Scandal. <laughs> That's right. Patty Smythe. Yeah. Goodbye yeah. to you. Pumping hey, those uh, pumps, hey. dude. You remember that video. Oh, yeah. Video. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. You playing Summer Nights, Ryan, while you're typing? Um, yeah. Did the pumps make make it, or they they kind of? They made it better. They made it better. Leave the damn pumps on. He's married to uh, John McEnroe. Right. Okay. I have right. a I I have a John McEnroe quick story that because uh, Meg is a huge tennis fan. She played tennis in high school. She played tennis in college. I'm Very a tennis good. fan. Yeah, she played, um, you know, and not professional. I would say semi-pro. Nice. But she, she was at the U.S. Open one time, and John McEnroe was there, and she, she wanted to take a picture. So I could take a picture. And so he comes over. He's like, uh, yeah, get your camera. And he goes, time's up. And then he walks away. What an ass. Yeah. So... What a what a ass move, man. So she, she doesn't like him anymore. <laughs> oh. But I mean, Yikes. come on, dude. You know, you, it's so you, it's like you take a picture. Yeah, yeah. Get out the camera. And so just when she's getting out, he goes, Time's up. Just walks away. It's like, oh man. So anyway. That's mm. that. Um John Mack. Yeah, Johnny Mack. Mr. Oh. Attitude, Mr. Attitude. It was clearly on the line. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. You big baby. Uh, if you're watching this, you owe my wife a picture, Mr. McEnroe. Uh, 
All right, let's go number five. Let's go. Well, I yeah. That'd have been cool though, because back then he had long hair though. He was kind of cool. He had an afro. <laughs> Now he looks like, um, who does it look like? Anyway. All right, let's proceed. Yeah, number right. five? On to number five, yes, sir. On we go. Number five. Here we go. Get ready. Ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's type. He was the founder and front man of Temple of the Dog, a one-off tribute band dedicated to his late friend, musician, Andrew Wood. Who are we talking about? Yep. Yeah. Ryan in there again. Three in a row for Ryan. Oh, you went one too? Yep. Chris Cornell. Look at you. That was another uh, finger roll. Yes, it was. But Look it's good. Correct. Because then we know people. Then we know how people. How fast people can type. Yep. All right. So we we are at the halfway we point. What's the score here, B? So, right. Ryan OU812 has got three. Mr. Mick has one, and John DeShane has one. Mm, so. Ryan's killing him. He's, he's All pulling right. out to an, pulling out to an early lead. Ryan out to a comfortable. Two really shot want, he lead. Wants that, he wants that Kirk Kirk Whammet pick. Yeah. He's looking to par in to, for this one, baby. Yep. Five down, five to go, making the turn. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Still plenty of time. Some fun questions. We're going to go to question number six here. Fun one. Yep. If you hadn't gotten one correct yet, that this is your question. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Number six. Here we go. She began singing blues and folk music with friends at Thomas Jefferson High School, where she was a classmate of Pro Football Hall of Fame coach Jimmy Johnson. Wow. She. Who is she? That is a fact I did not know. Who is she? It is not Pat Benatar. Ryan again with Joplin, Janice Joplin. Janice correct. Joplin. Kids, you, you got to get on the horn here on the stick. Yeah. Ryan's got four. He running away with it. And the rest of them have what? One, one and one. One and one. Three and questions left. we are left. running out of questions. Still anyone's game. If he gets one more, he wins. So. But. Deservingly so. Yes, sir. Deservingly so. Killing it. Way to go, Ryan. <laughs> All right, kids. Stop <laughs> the bleeding here. Thanks for sharing, R2. R2 is going to the bathroom, just in case. Yeah, uh, R2 yeah. Knows, that, knows that Ryan's killing it. All right, R2. You All can right. still win this thing, dude. Because you're the king of trivia. All right, so we are going, to, I'm going to show you guys a guitar pick, a picture of a guitar pick, the reverse. And for you collectors, you should really know this like that. Yeah. You know, right. Yes. All right, so whose guitar pick am I showing you right now? Who dude's is that? Birthday. that is dude's I birthday. need first and last name. This is going to be a tough one unless they really know it. You know? Because it's a little faded. A little scratched up. Good answers coming in. Yep. Good, good, good guesses. Bill Bo Baggins. No, that's not it. 
Not Pat Travers, not Gilbert. Not Brian Beesman, Boo Sam, Beesman. Brian Beesman. Brian. Brian Beesman. No. Roy Orbison, no. Phil Collin, no. Robin Trower, no. Great answers. Yep. <laughs> Not Phil Collin, no. Good guess, but no. Not Tommy Shaw. I dig the answers. They're great answers. They are. Yeah. Not Phil Collins either, no. <laughs> Red Durst. No. <laughs> uh, see what you did there, Mr. James. It's not Billy Sheehan. Not Paul McCartney. Nope, 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 nope. Good guess, but no. Not Brian Adams. Not your mom, Tom. Not Labar. Not Nugent. They might not get it, Tony. They might not. I don't think they. I don't think they're gonna. I'm disappointed. They're great answers, but they yeah, are not close. All right, everybody, one more good guess now. Go ahead <laughs> before we move on. You see it? No, I don't. Uh, Boner James is cracking I'm me. I'm digging up, but... the answers. Yeah, man. That's a good guess, too, Ryan, but no. Great answer there. Yeah, Keith Scott is a, is a great Brian Adams band guitarist. One of his longtime guitarists. No, it's not Rick Allen. Not Bob Seger. I think you're going to have to Nobody call has this guitar pick. I have, I have a few of these, thank you goodness i, I know someone who might have it but you know all right say, we're going to cut this off and move on all yep. right cut it we're going to cut it and we'll come back to it i'm yeah. going to cut it like that and there's your stopper yeah so jd and mr mick can still tie but they have to get the next three all right save your Answers. We're going to move on. Baloney Cortez. <laughs> All right. Don't <laughs> recognize anything no, else I'm not, that comes no. in. All right. We'll no. come back to that. We're we still will. standing we at will. the same, yeah. the same um, score. We're going to question eight. So does yeah, that mean eight. Ryan wins now? No, because because there's three questions left. If Mr. Mick or or JD gets one of the gets the next three, they can tie. So. Okay, so if John or Mr. Mick get this next one, they can tie Ryan. But yeah, if, if somebody else gets okay. it, then it, then Ryan. Wins. Okay, right on. All right, number eight. Here we go. Three number left. Eight. Number eight. Number eight. Yeah, this, this is artist's tough one. double live has been certified two times diamond for sales of twenty one million. The double disc offering is the best selling live album in any genre. Name the artist. It's another toughie, man. No, it's not Brad Paisley. Nope. Not Brian Adams, not Michael Jackson, not Peter Frampton. Nope. 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 Oh, Mr. Mick. Mr. Mick is in. Mr. Mick with Garth he's, Brooks. He's making it a game. Yes. It's, it's still a game, folks. It is still a game. I asked a Garth Brooks question a week or two ago, and I thought I'd slip him a nice job. hard slider on the a 94 uh, slider on the outside that gets rung up. Looks like Mr. Mick took, yeah. took it to the yard, though. What's the he score yarded, here he now? Going... Well, Mr. Mick has two. And... and Ryan has three. Yeah. No, Ryan has four. Ryan has four. So if Mr. Mick gets this next one, it's still a game. If not, then Ryan wins. So it's between Mr. Mick and Ryan. Pre pretty much. Or someone okay. can spoil it. 
someone could spoil uh, it and someone, give somebody the else. So, right. So, but it ha yep. has to be at least has to be Mr. Part. Mick. Okay. No pressure, dude. No pressure on you, Mr. Mick. Yeah, no pressure, dude. That's it. Here, here's your pick. He might, he might know this here, one. Here, here's your pick. I'm your yeah. cat. Here's your pick. Go. <laughs> Off you go, mate. Off you go. That's funny. All right. Tux medicated pads. No. Did you just use one of those uh, R2? Get some trouble. Anyway, let's. Uh, Number let's nine. See. Let's see what we get, man. Here we go. It's Good the, luck. This is the game, kid. This company's flagship amp is the B100, which was designed as a clone of the 1968 Marshall Plexi Super Lead Circuit with a Variac, a tone oh. inspired by the high gain 80 sound of Van Halen. Ryan already won it with Ryan. Be put it be away be before you finish the even before you finish the Friedman sentence. amps. You got it. Right there, Ryan. Oh, you and late I, one too. I told Tony backstage oh, Ryan man, was going to get that question. I knew right? it. Own it. Pow! Remember, I told you. I told you backstage Ryan was going to get that question. All right. And he did. So, congrats, Ryan. Ryan, you are the winner tonight, sir. You have scored a very cool Kurt Hammett pick from last year's. Um, m72 run those yellow those yellow picks his guy hooked me up mm. with and i'm gonna mail you one sir you yes. are awesome thanks for being here thanks for playing you guys know your rock i i thought it was going to be kind of hard that tonight good, good just one, one question was yeah. um but i thought a couple more were i thought number one was going to be real hard I thought this was going to be real hard. Yeah. Um, do we yeah. tell the, you want to tell the answer to number seven? And do you, yeah, still, want to do, do you still want to do 10? Um, Cause we got let, one question left. Let's but. go ahead first and let's reveal what everyone missed. So here seven, is yeah. a guitar pick. Whose guitar pick is that? That is the signature of the late great, Robin Crosby. Yeah. Robin Crosby of Rat. Yeah. Yeah. And all whether he signs a card, luckily I have a autograph of Robin, but they all look the same and on the back of his picks inscribed there. Yeah. Nice. So that's cool. Unless it's a block letter rat guitar pick that's got robin crosby on the back in block letter red yeah these came from 89 right there no yeah but robin crosby so we do have question number 10 still let's see what that looks like all right yeah this this is one we might not want to overlook no. all right so let's let's see what we're going to do here all right ou812 ryan has won the big m72 pick and that is a that that is a a cool find he did say that he would send me more should i need them but i do have a few for future games here Yep. Let's see what we're going to do as far as question number 10. We'll make another game. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're going to play for. Oh, Lord. Let's, let's see here. All right. Okay. We will play for, I got one of those and one of those and one of those. This is this is the last one of these, I think. It's looking think, to be. We're gonna spit it out tonight for you anyway, because I love you and I'm happy to do it. But for this one question, question number 10, we're gonna start all over. We're gonna let Ryan be exempt 
Oh, he is? Okay. Since he's already won, and I think he's all, already got this warrant pick. But for tonight's question number 10, we're going to score somebody for one question. How easy is this? For one question, a warrant oh, yes. eats America 89, Eric Turner. Dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. Very cool. They thought they were anyway, B. Yeah, they did. They lived like they were. They found out they weren't, though. Yep. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Warrant. Yeah. All right. Let's play. All right. So there are, there's your prizes right there. Ryan's got that one. That's coming your way, sir. And we're going to go to question number 10. There will be no tiebreaker. This will be a one-off. Whoever gets it gets this warrant. Eats America 89 pick. Yeah. Yep. All right. Good luck. This question number 10, we write them as such each week that you have to kind of know the show for question 10. So if you're leading or if this is a one-off game and you know the show, you got a good chance here. And that's a cool pick, that warrant, Eric Turner. Yeah, it is. Dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. That That's the shit right there. Yeah, it is. Um, that's old school. Yeah, it is. That's when they used to get on their knees and play those riffs in unison. Yep. <clears throat> that was so cheesy, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was still good. It was. We loved every to, minute yeah. of it. I know. All right. <clears throat> Where the down boys go. <laughs> Where the down boys go, go well. All right. You guys are getting some earworms now. Number 10, here we go. We're going there. Good luck. It was revealed. It was. What was Fruitcake Tony drinking this past Tuesday on Halenville Live? What was in his cup? What was in my cup? So, all right. I I have to say... The answers are in there, but there there might be a little bit of a controversy, Tony. Uh oh. Be because where where would they have seen maybe the answer to this, right? Okay. Um, if you read that, actually, there are certain people that are disqualified. Okay. Because they may have answered before question ten. Okay, and so, who might that be? So if we're going to go that way, then Jimmy Ray Hawkins actually wins. Okay. Be because Mr. Mick, said, Mr. Mick said it, and Silva also said it. Mr. Mick said it first, but the answer, as you know sometimes we do, is hidden in the description. Mm. And it says... What does it uh, say? Start start at the top of the paragraph. I, I will. It, so it says, uh, let's see. Thanks for reading the stuff in my description. So I recently bought a bag of mushroom coffee to try. It's definitely a different taste without all the caffeine, but focus is definitely there. I dummy it up with sweeteners until it's tolerable, but it's been a great alternative to regular coffee. And yes, mushroom coffee is your answer to number 10. Say nothing about this before question 10, or you are DQ'd. Thanks again for reading the stuff in my description. So by those rules, unfortunately, Mr. Mick and Sova are DQ'd because they answered way before question 10. And so um, your first so, answer... So the first answer after you ask the question is Jay Santiago is jay let's find it let's find but, it no I, I mean and that's just that's technical that's no offense to any of you guys because thank you for reading the description yes you know? thank you absolutely thank you so so much so. for doing that but yeah so so that that's the 
That's the way the ball bounces and the cookie crumbles. Jay, send me your info so it's on the top. Ryan, send me yours too, sir. You guys have scored tonight. I do hide stuff in the description from time to time. I think that if you watch a live stream for anyone, that you should read the stuff that they oh, yeah. provide typed. Some have very little, if anything, right. in, in some, their Sometimes you get excited. Sometimes but you get some, excited. Some people have yep. a bunch of stuff that they have to say in there, and there's there's merch links and social media links, et cetera, et cetera, that I put in there that I think you'll dig is why I put it there, you know, yeah. um, not because I want, you know, I want to push it, but I, I think you'll enjoy the stuff that's in there. And, but I think it's important that if you watch a live stream while you're sitting there on that person's channel, enjoying their stuff, browsing around, you may look at their playlist while you're listening to them, but read the stuff in their description. See what they have to say. You know, a lot of people have a lot of stuff to say. And yeah. that's part of it. And I dig it. Oh, so yeah. thanks I, I for too. reading my stuff. Um, yeah. And I get it. People get excited and they want to type it. And I've done it before, you know. But sometimes you got to read the fine print. <laughs> you keep reading till the end. Yeah. So <laughs> I, it's throw, good. It's good. I throw um chunks in the in the description like that not every week not every other week but once in a while yep. i do it and yep. um i did it tonight so most I, of that, the time that's been in there a couple of days actually yeah. yeah most people most people do catch it you know which is which is awesome so yeah cool congrats to congrats to you guys yes sir all right, so Ryan and who who won our last pick there, B? Uh, Jay Santiago. Jay Santiago. Okay, you guys send me your stuff. Yeah. What right. uh, what 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 kind of what kind of Brian Adams picks you got? I got some stuff. Let's see. I bet what you do. Got here. Let's go down there like that. Let me show you guys a couple of um, new things to start with, though. Really cool. Um, old school to start with. Nice. Yeah. That's back in the Alice Cooper days. The old Alice Cooper days right there. Yeah. All right, so this one is a real steal, a real find. I've got this guy's other. You have not yeah. seen a episode of this yet. I love this band. We haven't this done is a one of my all-time favorite done. bands. That is a. It's a great yes. band, and we actually had the original bassist from that band on we the show. We did, but now he plays for Striper. He does, you know, but we are waiting to do an episode on this band here. Yeah. Yep. And we will. Yep. Um, cool. But this was the original run after they got signed the first firehouse, Bill Leverty. Yes. Perry Richardson, you are correct, Jay. Yeah, I've, I've got an older one of his in his old band, White Heat. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. But we will get to a Show Me Your Pick Firehouse episode in the future. I promise. I'm waiting on it. That'll be awesome. Let's start here with these Brian Adams. All right, let me turn this over. 
like that. Cool. All right, I'm going to keep that one up there. Let's see, here's another one of these. Let's see what this says. Hmm. The clam. All right. The clam. There you go. A little tortoise shell. Get up and get on up. All right. Let's get something here, B. All right. All right. B right. Oh, hang on. What happened to that R on that one? Where? On that yellow one. Oh, I don't know. It's all it's spread just out. Font, yeah. No. Let's do this. What do you think? Cool. Hang on. All right. Got it. All right. Brian Adams. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was a that was a a real score with the um Firehouse Bill Leverty pick there that's cool yeah i was stoked to um score that i've got a bunch of firehouse bill Leverty picks and waiting to do a firehouse episode here still waiting like that we are cool but yeah read between those lines yep right on Yep. All right, so Brendan, let's um let's look to next to next Saturday. Let's let's look down the road on on the calendar. What's happening then? Yeah, what do so, we got? So what do we got? We're sitting this week. We are doing episode one ninety two here with Brian Adams here on the channel. The great Brian Adams, right. You know, love Brian Adams. Um, yeah. And, it, you know, for you guitar players, the great Keith Scott. Yeah. On guitar from his original band, dude. Yeah, really, really good guitarist. Um, so next Saturday here on Show Me Your Pick, we cover all genres of music, you know, the collection of guitar picks and memorabilia is vast so we 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 love our rock shows and we know we all love our rock shows but we do we do cover all genres of music here on show me your pick and i know you guys love all genres too as much as we do in some genres i know you do we all do yeah we have our favorites but all right, so next Saturday here, we're going to stay in the classic pop rock world, and we're going to talk about David Bowie. That's episode 193 here next Saturday. Nice. David Bowie, a bunch of David Bowie guitar picks and memorabilia passes and stuff to show you. Yep, be a good time and a great hang and hopefully good weather. It'll be good vibes here. You can yeah, bet man. your ass for that. Yes, yes it sir. will. Yes, will be. All right. But in the meantime, between now and next Saturday, 
we talk about Van Halen here on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And yes, yeah, so a Tuesday will be here very shortly, very, very shortly. And so every every Tuesday we get together and we talk Van Halen and Mammoth WVH. Well, this Tuesday on Halenville, we are going to be talking about Mammoth as they prepare to go to Europe to start a European trek starting the 28th. That's Thursday of next week. We're going to be talking about that European run on Tuesday night, 9 p.m., right here on the channel. That's the Mammoth crew and band and Nita and, yeah. Cool. Good deal. That's this Tuesday. We'll be talking all things Mammoth WBH. Yep. All right, let's see where we are on time here. Yes, we are. All right, everybody, we're going to wind things down here. Thank you so much for watching. This is our favorite night of the week. We get to loosen up, let our hair down. I know. I know. Uh, this where, is, uh, where is it? This is longer, I'm, longer on my beard than on my it's head. It's under here, though. Yeah, but we we do love our Saturday nights hanging out with you guys, you talking betcha. rock and rock memorabilia here on Show Me Your Pick. Yeah, mm -hmm. on behalf of um, Charles Green and Ed DeBrill, Brendan, have a great weekend. Have a great Sunday, everyone. We're going to be right back here to see you on yep. Saturday. All yep. right. Leave a thumbs up here on the video on your way out. If you're not subscribed here already, please do so. If you're watching this on replay, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're a big guitar pick collector. So are we. That's why mm -hmm. we're here. You're in the right place. Yep. Yes, you are. Show me your pick, baby. See you next week. Bye.